Hey there guys and thanks for clicking on and tuning in for today's episode of this Crystal Palace save with me, your host, Mr. Cudley. So season four, we are upon episode three uh, and here's what's in today's. It's not looking that clever. Just have a read of this guys. This is ridiculous, but welcome to Football Manager. So, we've been placed under a um, transfer embargo. Uh, if you recall, at the beginning of this um, season, I did say it's on the horizon, it's coming, it had to happen. It's happened every season. So, it's looking like we could be out of the door very soon. So, stay tuned, guys. You don't know what's around the corner. I do. Well, just look at that. Minutes ago or seconds ago, I was showing you about a consortium. Now it's happened. It was on the cards. And what's he want to do? He wants to reduce the transfer activity. What a fool. Uh, I just hope he wants to keep me on because uh, he didn't before. So keep our fingers crossed and we'll keep battling. There it is, folks. Still just hanging in there with my job. Basically, um, it was his intention to appoint a new manager, but he's now considering letting me keep my job for the time being, but he's going to inform me of his decision shortly. So, pretty much he's saying, if I can't find anyone, we'll keep you. If not, if we can get someone, you're out the door, mate. So, all the hard work now could have been for nothing, but once again, we're going to hang in there and hope that it's going to happen, uh, that I can stay on. But a number of, of the backroom staff he's got rid of, they've, he's shaken the tree completely. Um, and he's got rid and he's replanted his seeds with um, new managing directors, etc. So that's where we're at currently. So let's keep fighting, Palace people. Let's do this. So, guys, as you've just seen, it's not looking pretty with the um, news that basically they are looking to potentially get rid of me and replace me with somebody new due to... Uh, the club now being taken over by somebody else. And Parrish packed his bags and he's gone and he's left me here in the lurch. As you can see on the manager's performance here, the board will announce their decision regarding your future shortly. So basically it does sort of mean that I do think I'll be down the road. I think we are coming to some sad times now with this Crystal Palace save. Whereas uh, my reign as Palace manager looks like it's going to be over. Uh, just... Uh, while we're talking about things new, so um, I'm recording this episode um, just hours before England's game against Croatia. So um, I'm sporting the Jack Grayley's hairband because my hair's getting too long. So there's one change. And the second change is I'm not naked. I've just not got a top on because I record my videos in a small room and it's really hot in here. And I would have the door open and let air flow through. But the problem being is the other half... Uh, she's on a she's on a mission to tidy up today and she's hoovering and making all sorts of noise with music on in the background as well to keep her going. A bit like Rocky does, really. So um, I'm in my room. It's too hot to wear a T-shirt. I can't put my fan in here because you wouldn't hear me. Um, I do have one of them all flashing, singing and dancing Dyson air conditioning units, but you just wouldn't be able to hear. So uh, topless today, guys. Uh, you won't see much more than what you can already see. Thank God. Um, and of course, once again, I just need to mention we're sporting the old Jack Grayley's hairband today due to the length of hair getting long. Because for those of you who don't know, I am trying to grow a form of ponytail. It's a midlife crisis, guys. There's no other reason for it. I'm looking at being a BMW. I'm looking at a fast car and I'm looking at growing the hair and being Jack Grayley's. Um, so let's just hope I don't decide to break COVID rules and drive my car drunk and smash it up. Sorry, Jack. Love you. Right, let's move on. So, in today's episode, guys, I've got a feeling. I've just got a feeling that we're gonna get, we're gonna lose the job. So, you know, we are now out of Champions League football. We got an absolute thrashing at the hands of Real Madrid. Uh, basically, we was, we got our comeuppance. We were lucky to get a nil-nil draw at the very first game, and uh, ultimately, it was Real Madrid that finished us off. And Give us a bit of an idea. So let's quickly nip over there now. And I'll show you just what's been going on in the league and in Champions League football. So let's delve straight into it. It doesn't look pretty. It's pretty much like a horror movie. 
Um, it's not good all the way through. It's really poor, to be fair. So when we last left you, if you recall, I was probably having a fit around the Norwich game, losing 2-1 to Norwich. Uh, things were not going well. We was on a, a bit of a downward spiral since the Brighton game, uh, which propelled us down into the Monaco, Norwich, Leicester, Borussia and much and Glatchen back, I've managed to say it, and all the way down to a 4-4 draw with Leeds, which really we could have won quite comfortably, but uh, Palace being Palace wasn't good. We just conceded goals yet again. Uh, and then we won in the Carabao Cup on penalties against Sheffield Wednesday, um, which really, to be fair, uh, wasn't very, very, very good whatsoever. Uh, however, we are in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. How we are there, I don't know. Because uh, we then went and had a 3 0 thump in at the hands of Aston Villa. We did beat Borussia much in Gla Glass and back. Um, 2 0 at home in the Champions League. So we give the fans something to cheer for. Uh, we could follow through that also into the Premier League with a uh, an unconvincing defeat, really, to Everton um, at Goodison Park. And then we did have a 3 3 1 victory uh, against Fulham. But in the background, what was going on was clearly all the takeover rumours and um, announcements. So clearly the players were affected by that. Uh, no matter what I said or done really it didn't affect much only that one outcome which was full and really it was expected uh, and then just on the last game there we've just been beaten 5-1 against Real Madrid um, so that effectively ended our Champions League run for the season and probably for the history of Crystal Palace Football Club because I personally think the journey I've taken this club on um, won't be replicated by anybody whoever they get in at the club so I do fear for Crystal Palace uh, from this point on, even with me in charge, I do fear it's it's a downward spiral. There's not a lot of comeback. I don't think the money's going to be there. The chairman has already come in and said X, Y and Z about he's not willing to put money in. The idea is to sustain the club uh, by not giving it as much money for transfers, So, uh, which you've already seen. So that's going to bring us on to today's game. We're going to play West Brom and Monaco. Um, why not? There's no point in bringing you a Tottenham Man United game. We know what's going to happen. Uh, and the form we're on, we'll be lucky if we get a result against West Brom. So, talking of West Brom, come on over to the tactics page, guys. We'll be waiting. Into the West Brom game, um, I just want to talk to you about the finances. So, initially, we had £20 million to spend. As you can see, we've been hit down to 13.6. But the good news is, the overall balance of the club is now... Um, positive it's on 39 million so you know the, the takeover has worked in other ways if it's not worked in the way i wanted it to work in terms of future of the club uh you like to think that having an additional 39 million off just short of 40 million in the bank is going to be good for the club so it's not all bad in some respects in the respects of a manager it's looking terrible in the respects of the um the finances of the club um the longevity of the club to keep going is there. It's, uh, you know, the foundation's in place for that. So whoever takes over from me, which will happen, I'm pretty certain of it, unfortunately, um, then they'll, they'll be, have, you know, they'll, they'll be given something to work with, which will be good because I don't want to see pilots go down. Uh, however, if I do stay in charge, I do think it will be difficult, but I'm going to give it everything I've got until my services are no longer required. Right, let's go on to West Brom. Let's not hang around, guys. Let's go and do it. Right, so this is what we have at the moment. So Lewis Cook is going to come out. Larola's, Larola's coming out. Uh, right, so what do we have? So we need... God, I'm really struggling. Uh, Ferguson, Kai from play right back. She, she, so Conza's going to have to go there. Uh, all right, so let, let's get this. Where am I going? Um, do So Konza is going to go there. Vestergaard is going to come and drop in there. And then at the centre of midfield, I feel El Nani could do a good job. He's, he's missed out a little bit. And since we've started playing uh, Antonio, we've lost the core of the group with with what's been going on so may has also worked his way back into the team he's been playing really well we do have max bird who we saw a lot of potentially not really hit the ground running not done what we needed him to do but you know he's still there he's still giving us something to work with um mayor as i say really been playing quite well um been assisting the few goals we have been scoring so it's been good um 
Sensei and Vestergaard don't really see eye to eye that often. But, you know, as a threesome there in the centre, we're going to go with that. Uh, Souza is not going to start in goal. We're going to go with Joel. I, I, I made the decision. I dropped him. He was ever present last season. He was so good. And I've just dropped him for a bigger name. And I don't want to do that. I, I feel bad that I did it, but I did do it. Um, so the the in goal will be Christian Joel. Then we've got a trio in defence of Sensei, Azir, Ajaya, however you say his name, Vestergaard. Uh, Konza will play wing back right. Adam Arol will play wing back left. Uh, Marcus Antonio will play the deep line playmaker role on defence. El Nenny will play the central midfield role on defence. Mayer will play the shadow striker on attack. Brenner will play the deep line forward. And Mitchy Batshuayi will play the advanced forward role. At the bench, Souza, Bird, Redevelopment, McBurney, Mina, Eze and Lingard. Let's go and do it. Uh, I think we need to go attacking from the off. I don't want to go and sit on it. I think we need to get in there uh, and, and get amongst it quickly. Um, so, tell them enjoy themselves. See if we can get some morale, momentum going. Fingers, fingers crossed. A couple of results might change the chairman's mind and keep us in, in the position, but it's not looking like it. However, I've taken Crystal Palace to the highest position they've ever finished. I've taken them to Europa League success. I've taken them to Champions League football. I've taken them to cup finals. May not have been successful, but we've gotten there. So it's such a mass improvement on the football club itself. And I'm very proud of what I've done. I'm talking like I've lost a job already. Uh, I kind of feel I have. The writing is certainly on the wall, guys. Uh, and I'm absolutely devastated that I could be losing my job soon. So um, I'm just trying to recap what I've done and relive the greatness that I think I've done at the football club. Um, uh, talking about greatness, it's 0-0 against West Brom, uh, and it's been crap. Uh, so starters we mean to go on, shall we? Um, right, let's go. Second half. Uh, I'm, yeah, you've been unlucky, I'm just going to say. Well, let's Let's start thinking... Moving forward, let's think ahead. If I am to lose, which is looking quite promising now, to lose my position as the manager here, where do we go? Do we end it? Do we see where we get and see if we can carry on? Um, I'm not totally sure. I'll probably end this Probably end this series. Uh, I do have a few more things I've been working on in the background that I'm looking to get going soon. And Vestergaard, see, it's, I just... I just bring some some energy to the team when I put players in. Uh, great goal, back post, scores. I'm going to have a celebratory drink of Vimto for that. Out of the straw because i got sensitive tooth at the front now. Got to wait to the dentist. It's 2-0. Maybe I should drink Vimto more often, guys. What do you think? Checking goal review. Well, we know it's overturned straight away. So it's still 1-0. Uh, but we've seen two goals, people. Uh, right. Uh, we're going to skip that. We're going to pause. We're going to make some changes because there's some tired legs out there. Some tired minds and bodies. Um, just want to touch on just a quick one. Um, Christian Eriksen, what happened yesterday was absolutely unbelievable. I couldn't see how, how in modern football that can happen. But I'm not saying it's because of the football because I know it wasn't. But... I sat there and I watched it live. And when I saw him fall over, I said to my partner, who doesn't really watch football, oh my God, he's just fallen over. That's terrible. It's bad. You knew it was bad. And then when you saw the CPR and what they were doing, uh, your heart does go out to the family of Christian Eriksen uh, and his extended family. And it's not nice to see. So uh, just me saying that let's hope he gets a speedy recovery and hope his family are doing okay and all well and all staying strong, strong-minded and positive. That's what I think we all need. Uh, it's something we don't want to see in football. I didn't think we'd see it again after uh, the guy from Bolton. I can't remember his name. I think we've had two incidents now. Now, Christian Oakson will be number three. So, um, fingers crossed he's all good. So, come on, Christian Oakson. You can pull through this, son. Um, and it's a shame that Denmark couldn't go on and pick up a result against Finland and they lost. But, you know, the good news is Christian Eriksen was speaking to the team allegedly and, you know, let's hope it was all true and that he did speak to them and he was able to put some messages across to the team. Right, so half-time here. Let's get on with this. So we're going to bring on Rita Vell because Adam Arola is struggling. Mayer is struggling. Um, I'm going to take... See, Eze has been playing really, really well. But, of course, as you've been watching, I was playing 4-4-2 last time for a little while. Uh, I'm going to go... I'm going to give Jesse his chance at... Um, 
uh, Shadow Striker. Because he can play it well, he just hasn't played well very recently. Right, that's all we're going to do for now. <sighs> right. Let's do this. Ten minutes to go. Let's give him a shout. 1-0 win. Oh, we're winning 1-0, should we say. So, tell him to focus. Konza, great ball. Lingard straight away through. <sighs> he creates something. Jesse Lingard, but... Some big scores. Five, three, and four. Well, it's all over, guys. I think we've got a 1-0 win in the league. It's the first win. Um, well, no, first win. In, well, we've won two out of three now. So, things are starting to look good again, but against lower opposition. So, we need, I think, the next few games. The Tottenham and the um, Monaco game, which is coming up next, guys, is, you know, it, it, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean absolutely anything right now. So... Uh, we are out of the Champions League. I'll actually quickly come over and show you, actually. So there's your league players. We, we are now in 12th position. We was 16th position um, just a few weeks ago, but we are literally uh, starting to reclimb the table again. It's not good for a team that finished... I think we finished 7th last season um, inside the... Oh, no, we didn't. We finished 4th, didn't we? Or 3rd inside the Champions League places. Um, no, we didn't. We finished seventh. I won the Europa. Sorry, guys, losing the plot. Uh, must be the greatest hairband. Anyway, so that's where we are in the league, which isn't looking good, if I'm being totally honest. Um, if we go over to the competitions, we can look at the Champions League. Um, in our let's have a look at our group. So you know we we failed to qualify, and our next game is against Monaco, which. You will be able to witness a Champions League game. Probably an absolute hammering, but let's go and have a look. So, tactics page, guys. Monaco, here we go. So, just before we go into the Monaco game, this has come up on our news inbox. And it says, the Crystal Palace hierarchy appears to finally be losing patience with manager Lee Marlowe, according to the total... Football show. The Totally Football Show are declaring that a bad result against AS Monaco in the forthcoming UEFA Champions League match could seal my fate. It's already sealed, my friends. Uh, I'm pretty certain I'm a goner, but let's get over to the tactics page, as said, and let's play the game and see it out. Right, guys, so uh, this is the team we're going to put out. I nearly just carried through. Uh, I had to remember I was recording. Uh, so this is the team we're putting out. Joel, Vestergaard, Ajay Sensei, Konsa. Adamarola, Riedeveld and Max Bird will play in the centre of midfield. Mayer keeps his place. Brenner and Batswai also keeping their places. Subs bench is goalkeeper Hugo Suze, uh, Marcus Antonio, Mohamed El Nene, Oli McBurney, Yerry Mina, Eze and Jesse Lingard. So that's the team. Let's go with this. Tell them we've got enough fun. We're out of the league. We're out of the Champions League anyway, so... Just a positive result is anything other than a defeat. Um, Monaco level on points with Real Madrid at 10. God. Ajay's injured already, so Ajay needs to come off. Mina needs to come on. Um, so Yuri Mina comes on straight away. Got to be offside there. Oh, come on. You see the look we're having. Sanchez, the goalkeeper, Joel, would have had that no problem last season. He just, like he rolls it back to him. What, what's this? It's like he sort of gets his hands as a spade and just pushes it back to them. This is just piss poor. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And that's what I've been having to put up with all season. So, um, not, not the greatest. Not the greatest. I mean, I think regardless this is this result, I think we're going to lose our job anyway. Um, I love the positivity I give around the place. It's great, isn't it? Um, but when you know your fate's gone and you, you can seal it yourself, really, then... Oh, right, come on. Great ball, Mayor. Good touch, M Mitchie. Ah, poor, poor, poor finish. Uh, the good thing is we're creating something, which is better than nothing. Something's better than nothing, of course it is. Corner on the line. Oh, see, guys, on that line, always have someone on the line. Riederveld unexpectedly carries the ball forward. Great ball. Mayer. Oh, he's in the bar. Batwai. Oh, great save by the goalie. 
Should have, should really be 1 1. Fabulous effort from Mayer hitting the crossbar. Out of the bats wide, left foot, poor. And that's his strongest side as well. That's the sort of bad luck we're getting. Okay, well, we're not going to change much. I uh, felt towards the back end of the half, we were sort of dominating. If dominating could be a word we could use against Monaco. We do seem to play better when we've got Max Bird. He does get on the ball a little bit more than Antonio. But I think Antonio, because he's new and he's trying to get used to the club and the culture and the, the language, it's going to be like that. But I think when he when he kicks in, he'll be good. But he's a liability until that happens. And, you know, I might just have to make him a, you know, a bit player, bit part player, so to speak. Um, but he won't want that because he's been promised important part of, of the team so um, you know your hands are sort of tied really as to who starts or who plays um, but we'll see as we progress we might really look to uh, change his contract or even ship him out if he's not going to do what we need him to do really so we're 1-0 down we can live with that I'm actually going to make a change because it's not a game we can influence any way shape or form I think now is maybe the time to sort of you know we'll put McBurney in for Brenner Um We'll give Eze a go, um, and we'll, we'll get El Nene on for Max Bird. I, know I, can't, I can't do that because I've made too many subs. That'll do. We'll, we'll confirm that and crack on. Mayer, back post. <sighs> just wide. Real Madrid have just scored at 64th minute. Rodrigo made it 2-0. Bar Borussia much and Glad I'm back. I've just scored again, so it's now 2 1. I mean, I don't want to finish bottom of the league, of the table, not the league, but you know. Oh, as a wonderful breakthrough. As a just over, just over. Great run. Really should be doing better um, with, his, uh, with his shot there, but wasn't to be. So it looks like we are going to finish this episode on a defeat. Um, oh, wonderful save, Sanchez. Uh, by a, a goal that was given to them, really. So it's not what they've really created. It's what they were given. Um, so I'm a little bit... A little bit bummed out about that, but... You know... I think we've done all right. We have done all right, to be fair. Considering we went 1-0 we went down quite early on. To keep our composure and keep our shape, we've done all right. I'm happy. Uh, unfortunately, this will drop us down to fourth in the league, in, in, in the uh, Champions League table. <coughs> Expected. Listen, we're not, we, we, we knew we weren't going to qualify. We knew it was impossible. Um, it is what it is. Listen, we were there. We, we, had, we had six games in the Champions League and we finished bottom of the group. So what? We, we went there. Right, nothing as of yet. I, am, I was tempted to play the Tottenham game, but we're not going to uh, because, obviously, there's been some stuff put in this that's going to make it last a little bit longer. Uh, and I don't want these videos to be too much. So what I will do is I will play these next few games, and if we do lose our job, uh, I will include it in this episode just in a minute, just just like, just, uh, like a few seconds down from where we are now. Okay, so from me, Mr. Cuddly, on this episode, guys, um, as you know, it's not going too well. Here is the Premier League before we leave. So we leave you 14th in the Premier League, out of the Champions League, and we are in the um, FA Cup. We've drawn against, uh, who did we get? God, there we go. Tottenham, so you know we're pretty much going to be out of that one straight away, uh, and we've been drawn Everton in the um, quarterfinals. So absolutely delighted with where we're doing in the in the cup, but not really delighted with the Premier League itself. So from me, Mister Cudley, unless anything happens very very soon, that's it for next episode. It's over and out, guys. Fingers crossed, we get another episode. Take care.
So we do have some breaking news just before the Tottenham game, I did say. And it reads this. Following the recent events at boardroom level, you will be allowed to stay on as manager of Crystal Palace. I have been impressed by the support to your management at the club and have been persuaded to allow you to remain in charge. In line with, in line with my campaign promises, bids have been submitted for Mohamed... Hey, who the hell's... Who, who's he? Wow. So he looks kind of decent. Wow, so they bid for this guy. Oh, does that mean they need me to play? Right, him and Pedro Neto. So they want me to play a more expansive, a different sort of football. So they want me to play with wingers now. Wow. Okay, so maybe I should take that stance and the same approach and change the formation. Which is something I didn't really want to do. I don't know. I think I'm going to play a 4-2-3-1. Uh, I'm going to switch tactics, guys, for the Tottenham game. We're going to go 4-2-3-1. I don't expect it to work out because we've not tried it, but we're going to go straight over and we're going to sort it all out now. So we will see you on the next episode of this season once again. Um, until next time, guys, from me, Mr. Cudley. It's over and out and we still have a job. Take care again, part two.